Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to Monday. We are collaging today and um, finally got my light over where I want it. Uh, we are collaging today because when I put together my little um, booklet that I was, my file folder, booklet I do have it all glued in in that just the cutest thing I still have the uh, I have not worked had the time to work on the uh, the covers for this and I am kind of slowly going through and doing the, uh, the, the tags to put in the pockets and so um, what I had done I had gotten a, a bag in the uh, in the mail with something in it, and I cut the bag down, and I had these strips, and I thought, ooh, I can't throw the strips away. Same thing with this. You can tell right there's the seam. This was one of those bags, and so I cut the ends off, and uh, yeah, I had this, and I thought, ooh, ooh, same with this here, this paper. And I thought, what are you going to do with this? So I just started playing with it. And this is going to be part of tomorrow's Tag Tuesday as well, guys. So this is going to continue on. I'm going to show you what I ha have created with this. And we'll do a couple things together. Just really, really fun. Hope everyone had a fantastic weekend. I need to see. I don't think... Do I have, I think I may have cut them all up. I don't think I have any strips. Let me just check right here behind me if this is, yes, I do. I thought I did because I wanted to be able to show you this is what we have. These are the strips. I went ahead and um, did a little bit of everything, used some washi, used some stickers that um, y'all have given me stickers, of course the ink blots, got to have those, and um, got into some of the um, labels. I just was trying to get into my stash and use some things up. So that's what this is. I had pieces of uh, the decoupage paper like this from a previous um, project. And so got into that and thought, let's, let's add it. So I think we're gonna do that right here. We've got this, let's use it. We need this back, we need a glue stick. So did everyone have a wonderful weekend? I hope so. It is hot here, yes, it is hot here. And um, I spent three hours over at Miss Dana's house going through her stuff, her, her craft supplies, because she is no longer, she told me, I'm no longer going to do mixed media and paper. She is going to concentrate solely on doing um, photo books. That's what she wants to do. So she is getting rid of a lot of her stuff. So, um, yeah. So I was busy with her, playing around with her, going through her stuff, sorting things out. And it was just, it was fun, 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 fun. So I'm sitting here looking at this thinking, what do I want? I did pull two of my favorite stamp sets. Well, actually three, I've got two Tim Holtz and this one, um, I can't tell you. I wanna say glow, I don't know. You know, I hate to say anything because if I don't know, then I'm going to mess up, and I just, I hate to do that. So I think I'm going to start maybe with this one, because it's a little bit different from the uh, Tim Holtz that I typically use. So we do need ink, don't we? Can't do it without ink. And I think black is my favorite, uh, but I did find... 
just uh, walnut stain and I've not opened it yet. So we might do something with that. But I think for right now, we're gonna go with the black. And the one thing I don't like about these is they're difficult to see. I've got a 13 July 1922, so why not? How about we put that there? Let's try it out. 13 July 1922. Wonder what was going on 13 July 1922. Wonder, yeah, my mom wasn't even born then. But I wonder what was happening then. Well, probably the Depression or close to it. Okay. And then we, this is a cool number, 40844. Yeah, I think I'm going to Google that and see what was going on during that time. Just to see... Just to satisfy my curiosity, we are in the hundreds now, guys. It is hot. Let's put this down there. So I hope everybody had a great weekend. I did hear from Karen. Uh, she Her uh, knee is healing. She's doing well. I heard from Jane. Um, there, You know, when you lose somebody in your family, especially a child, the firsts are very, very difficult. And that's what they're going through now, are the firsts. How about Paris? So, um, yeah, it's just, it's rough. I can't even imagine what that would be like. For some reason, I am getting all of this ink down here. What am I doing? Too far in the middle, I think. So let's do a Paris, maybe right here, just because we've got a lot of space. That's cool looking. So um, I spent three hours at Dana's house yesterday helping her out. Came home, I was there by 11.30, came home and um, I was exhausted. You know, when you're going through a lot of ephemera and paper and it can be, it's just tiring. How about a little bit of beauty? Maybe right here like that. Um, I don't want this to all be stamps, so my brain's kind of going, well, what do you want to do, Charlotte? Because right now, that's what you're doing is stamping. So what do we want to do? Um, we thought we'd be in the mountains by now, and uh, we're not. We've got something going on. I am going to be at a crop all day on uh, the 29th. So I will be gone, and we thought, well, if we go up, we have to come back for that. Let's just not go yet. So that's one of the reasons. How about an ink blot, of course? That's one of the reasons we haven't been. But we, I think we're going to leave on the 30th, and we'll be up there over the 4th. So I don't know, having said that, what videos are going to look like. Ooh, that's cool. Let's put one over here. I don't know. I have no idea what videos are going to look like. Um, you may see me. You may not. I might do some shorts because I know the Petersons are coming up. You know, our son and his family, they're coming up. So we're going to try to work on some Legos, some sets that need to be done before our granddaughter leaves for college. Okay, I'm going to put this one away because this is... And I'm just, I'm going to look at this and think, what else? Let's get out some ephemera. How about putting in possibly something from here? This is a grabby item. 
So let's see. I just love these. You've heard me talk about these. I talk about them a lot. I use this a lot and I am in love. Still watching for the um, advent calendar for 2024. Grabby had said that it would probably be out next month. So I am watching and as soon as I um, find anything, I will let you know. So I will try to be your eyes and ears for that. All right, let's move on. Maybe, maybe not that one. Maybe let's get into something that's got some color. Let's use this. These are kind of like... Kind of like washi, but not quite. And I think I want one maybe over here. Cool numbers. What else do we have? Nice shapes. How about, let's use this one. So really all I'm doing is taking these strips and trying to turn them into something that I can use later on in the way of tags. And that is what is going to bring in uh, tomorrow's video. We're going to take these and do something with them. So let's pull out, let's pull out some ephemera. I think that's probably where I would tend to go. Maybe we should do I want to use these stamps I've got so many of these let's um, use some of these and maybe some washi tape get some color in here these are stickers these are from Timu in case you have never seen these before these are Timu stickers And so when you have a project like this, it's kind of cool to be able to just get, is that straight? Just get all your stuff out and just start having a play. I think I'll put this there because you can never have too much. And I know a lot of us have a, have a lot of this stuff and this is a good way to get in there and use it. So we've got that. And then I have, I know, some old, old stickers from, I believe, when I first discovered Timu. And um, that would be, y'all are probably gonna recognize these. Let's see, that's not it. Okay, Charlie, come on, come on, come on. Y'all recognize these stamps? Look at that. Yes, it is time to use these stamps because they just aren't going anywhere sitting in a box. That's kind of cool. I'm gonna be happy if I could use two of them on here, but maybe the one, we'll use the one. One is one, right? One is one less than we have. And so we're gonna do that. Let's put that on there, maybe like right here. And then let's get into some ephemera. Come on. Here we go again, guys. These are usually pretty easy to get off. So we need a something something. We need a little tool. There we go. We gotcha. And then don't forget, I am sharing my craft room on Friday. 
I will probably be doing that video tomorrow and just get it scheduled and get it on. So let's see what we've got here. Maybe a little bit of, yeah, can you believe it? Let's see, I'm trying to use colors that, that's pretty. And, nope. Well, maybe that would be pretty bright. How about, do we want some blue? That looks the best, it blends the best, but if we want a little, if we want color, that may not be the way we want to go. I'm gonna do the blue. So we've got color. I had gone on to Timu quite a while back and I had purchased a variety pack. And I think I had mentioned this before, but for anybody that's new, I got several of these rolls, but you don't get a lot, which really is a good thing because um, then you don't have so much. You can go through it quicker and then you have a little bit of everything, but not a whole lot of everything. So, see how that gives us some color? Then I think maybe we just might, even though it's blue, put some up here. Not really thinking about it, just going for it. I like it when it's torn and maybe a piece of color right in here. And because it's temporary tape, I always have trouble with it coming up later, so I like to lay down a little bit of glue, and even though I do that, it invariably starts coming up. So this, this over here is about as boring as you can get. So do we want, let's pull out, where is that? Let's pull this color out and give us some washi right up here. A nice strip of washi. Just like that. And yep, we are covering that stamp. But lots of times that's exactly what happens, so what are you gonna do? And now let's get into our ephemera and see if we've got some little pieces we might want to use. Just to kind of fill the gaps in. Let's see, we've got some writing there. That's pretty cool. Man, these things are little, little. I think I'm gonna have to pull out the tweezers for sure on this. I don't know where I got these because I have a tendency to unpack and put in a container and not keep the um, the packing names. What I do uh, keep is the packing itself to reuse, but I could not tell you what ephemera this is. I know it's Tim Holtz, but um, ideology, but I have no idea if you wanted to purchase it, where, what it would be called. Well, I don't want two circles together, but I kind of like this red might do that, might not use that, and I think I might have some labels. Let's see if I have anything small. Doesn't look like it, but I do have, remember these? photo and I think I might just be about out of this ink this is the archival I do have um, ink refills but it's uh, the distress I think I'm gonna put that Blue. 
Sometimes you have to help your stickers when you're putting them on top of a uh, of collage paper. They just don't want to do their thing. So then, I'm just going to kind of put this together like a puzzle. Just put our pieces where we think they're going to look good. So this weekend, guys, I made three, um, I want to say servings. Servings is not right. Three recipes of uh, lemon bars. Oh my goodness, they're so good. Uh, the original recipe that I used is a um, Southern Living recipe. So if you um, go online, you probably could look it up. Southern Living lemon bars. That's, now we're getting into too much. It's too much. But I do have this cool, 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 but I think it might be, this in, in itself might be too big, but I could cut it. I don't know where I got these. These are stickers. I cannot remember. You can see I'm still not using my Tim Holtz. Could cut it, but I don't. I don't care for that. But let's use this. Boy, I am gonna be covering up everything, aren't I? Kind of like that. Let's go for it. These are stickers, but they don't stick at all. Um, this is very, very strange. So you take the backing off, and you can see. There's not really anything there, so you definitely need glue. And I think we're gonna go, I don't want it even, so we're gonna go like that. It's a pop of color. This is, um, you know what, maybe a piece of metal. Wouldn't that be cool? How about, this is from the dollar store, how about a puffy piece of metal? Ooh, yeah, okay. And I do add glue to these because they don't, they don't want to stay down. And I don't know what that set fly, I think that says, so that's perfect. Yep, we've got a bird there. So fly. And I think, I think I still want something there. Maybe, let's put that there. Because it's a different shape. I don't know, y'all probably can't hear me. Don't, please don't say anything in the comments because I caught it, I know. Because I'm thinking that, that always happens. And I really, really don't want to have to mess with a microphone. Okay, I like that. Maybe we can use, how about this, we'll put it, I'll be so happy when I can take this and say, look, I've used it all. Look at how pretty that is. That looks really good. Okay, now remember, we will strategically cut this up. I would like to use use all of this today. Let's just do it. All right, what do we have? Maybe we want a pop of color right there. I think so. So we're just, so this is really all I'm doing is just collaging using just stuff that I have. And if you don't have stuff, book pages, um, magazine pages, fussy cut things. See, we've got some reds going on. I like that. So what else do we have that we can apply to this? I like that. Let's do that. If you've got metals, brads, things like that, pull them out. Don't be afraid. 
use what you've got. So that looks good. Okay, and then what else do we want? Let's see, Charlotte. I don't have any of my flowers over here. Maybe we want another one of these. This has some red. Let's put that there. I'm going to put that away. I think y'all are going to be really pleased with how beautiful uh, the tags are from this process. Yeah, I like that. Maybe I like this better. I think we'll put that there. Um, the tags that come out of this, I don't know why, versus just standard collage, but the tags are so pretty. All right, we're gonna do that. Don't know why I'm not using my scissors yet, my new scissors. Uh, I really think I want something, something. Let's see, ooh, I like that. Let's do that. And we have a little mini here. All right, let's see how that looks. Let's check it out. I'm hoping, did I say in the beginning that I got two pieces of mail, um, one from Brenda and one from Roseanne? So thank you, so I've got that. Put that there like that. Should, you know, with these guys, I should have gotten into my Easter grabby because I probably could have found some cool egg or something we could put on here that would not have been Eastery, but I would have been able to use. I think maybe we'll put that right there. But I still want something for up in that corner. I'm just... Not too sure what the something should be. I feel like I just want something up here. Um, I don't know if I have a tiny, tiny butterfly. I don't think so. I think this is going to be too big. But then I've got this one. Maybe. Here's a smaller one. It's too bright. Well, maybe not. Maybe. Okay. One of these two. So we're just not sitting there concentrating on it for 30 minutes. I think maybe that one. But then to my suite. I kind of like the blues. All right, you know what we need to do. This is pretty white, pretty white and bright. So let's tone this down just a little bit and then see what we think. I think I'm gonna go with this one. Yep, all right. It's like you did an ink blot. Now you're covering up the ink blot, that's okay. What happens when you collage? I'll put this right there like that. Yeah, I think that looks good. Okay, I think I'm going to finish the other ones probably off camera. I will come in and ink this. This has to be backed onto something stronger because this isn't going to work. Although, you know what, what would really be cool is to use this sort of like a snippet and be able to roll it up 
But, um, yeah, I do. I really like that. Where is... put a metal piece right there like that. You know what? Why not? We're looking at it. We're thinking about it. So let's just do it. Let's put this right like this. Okay. And depending upon where you've got pieces like that, it's going to depend on where you cut this how you make this tag. So, more than likely, this tag's, this, this is gonna be a tag that's gonna get cut this way. And probably, yeah, we'll see though. So what I'm gonna do is find a piece of cardstock, uh, maybe uh, one-sided would work best, and glue this down. And then we will pick up tomorrow where this is all leaving off. I still have to um, distress the edges if I want to do that. And if I want to add anything else to this, then we have to do that. So guys, this is going to be the video for today. And then tomorrow we will put all of this together and see if we can fit it into our file book. Oh, so fun. I can't wait to make the next one. So take care, everyone. Big, big hugs. Thank you so much for your support, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye, guys.